Mm. Our lesson today is a geography lesson about the continent of Antarctica. Antarctica is the furthest continent south of the equator. This is the continent of Antarctica. Some people call it the South Pole, this continent here. It is the coldest place on Earth. Believe it or not, the continent of Antarctica is basically mostly a desert. Deserts usually people think of sand, but what defi the definition of desert is a place where it doesn't rain very much. In the continent of Antarctica, it rains about two inches a year. That's very, very little rain. But in Antarctica, that comes down as ice or snow, and it never melts, and it doesn't get absorbed by, by the soil because it's too cold. So it just creates more and more and more ice. In Antarctica, believe it or not, there is a volcano. There is a mountain that has a volcano. And when you think of a volcano, what does a volcano spout? Lava. Lava, right? But in Antarctica, it's so cold, that volcano kind of spouts rocks because by the time the lava meets the air, it gets cold and hardens and becomes rocks. Um, if all the ice in Antarctica would melt, the water in our, um, like in the oceans, would be about 100 um, meters higher than they are right now. So a lot of cities like New York City or Miami or even Los Angeles would be underwater. There's a lot of water in here. Nobody lives all the time in Antarctica. Antarctica does not have permanent residence. Antarctica is a place that scientists go for research and they stay there for maybe a week, maybe a month, but they leave. That's not their home. It is nobody's home. And in Antarctica, um, people also go to um, visit and, and um, just kind of like tourists to look at animals and see nature. But it's not a place where anybody lives. You remember when we talked about North America and we said the indigenous people that lived in North America are called Native Americans? There are no indigenous people that live here. It is such a cold and difficult place to live. It's windy, it's cold. The sun sets in Antarctica only once a year. So you have six months of dark and six months of light. Um, some animals live in Antarctica and the most famous one that you guys all know is penguin. penguins. But there are whales, there are birds that live there. Antarctica, boys and girls, does not have a, any countries. And it's not even a country. You know how we talk about Australia and Australia itself is a continent and a country? Antarctica is, does not have any countries and Antarctica is not one country. Actually, a group of people that belong to different places in the world, different countries, take care of this, of this continent. They, they are in charge of keeping it clean, of making rules that the people who come for research or tourists don't get this, uh, this continent polluted or dirty right, or ruin it, or do anything that they're not supposed to. So people take turns and go up there and stay a month or two and then leave, and then other people would come just to keep things, um, to keep things in, that people that come for tourist, tourism or the research don't do something they're not supposed to. So because of that, this continent does not have a flag. But we have a work on the shelf, I will show you later, where you can make or design, if you could design a flag for Antarctica, what would it look like? So that's a work that we have on the shelf. I have some pictures that I wanna show you. 
um, about Antarctica. So the first time that somebody kind of discovered Antarctica is what in the year 1820. And today, um, we also learned that in, in, um, a scientist or an um, adventurer from Norway, the first time as a human being went to the Antarctica, he went with dogs and a sled. He didn't even have um, like a special machine or a special car or any vehicle that was designed electronically or anything like that. It was a man with his dogs and a sled. He was from Norway and he um, he visited, uh, he was the first one to visit Antarctica. Temperatures in Antarctica can get to minus, minus 100 Fahrenheit. Boys and girls, that's very cold. That's colder than your freezer. Way colder than your This one is talking about that it's a dry continent. It really never kind of rains and snows, but they have, um, what do you call it, when the wind, um, the gust of wind, that it, it, the wind goes very fast and it's bitter cold wind, but it's really not rain or snow. Very little of that. Seventy percent of Earth's fresh water is in Antarctica. That's a big deal, boys and girls. And um, every day, very often on the news, we're hearing that the glaciers and the ice in Antarctica is melting too fast. And scientists don't like that fact. That's not something we're happy about. So glaciers, this is probably a picture of a glacier. It's basically ice, almost islands made of ice that go down and move down kind of a stream very, very, very slowly. Those are called glaciers. It's not a chunk of ice this big. Probably it's as big as Mason or something like that, and, and very tall. Those are called glaciers. Some of the mountains in Antarctica are beneath water. This picture here has a kind of a, a camp. This is probably a scientist camp that go and gather data or information about animals or about nature, about the water, different things that affect all of us. If something goes wrong in Antarctica with the water, that will affect all of us. Everybody's favorite bird up there, right? Right. Um, this is um, kind of a map of Antarctica. One thing interesting about Antarctica that it's shaped as a dome. So this is the flat picture of it, but it's actually shaped. You see, like, kind of goes up like this. That's a dome. Kind of like a bubble. Elephant seals also visit Antarctica. <coughs> this is a glacier. Look how big it is. That's a glacier right there. Do you guys have any questions about Antarctica? Yes, Brian. How much square square miles is there? Yeah, it's, um, it's probably in here. Um, yes. How much people do you think in Antarctica? I don't know.
don't know how many people visit. I can look it up. Um, but you can you can be a tourist and go see you it. You can go tour as a tourist, yeah. You have okay. to take a Here boat. Why is Antarctica uh, a desert? Remember what we said, what is the definition of a desert? It, never, it, it doesn't rain a lot. Right. In our mind, we immediately think of sand. But it can be ice. Yeah. So it's... It's a desert because it doesn't get a lot of rain. Yeah. 